black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey yo, what is up and what is good with y'all? As you can see here, I've got a little pita pile. This is called Pita Pit. Uh, not sure where it is in the world, but we have it here in old Canada. Um, before we get into anything, I just want to say a massive thank you to just everybody who commented on my last video. Clearly that was, you know, it's just one of those videos where people are moved in their own way and they're going to speak about their lives and just give encouraging words. Um, you know, it's hundreds of comments. So this is a massive thank you for just all the kind words. And I can't believe how many other people have experienced or currently experiencing also need help. All the people that reached out to my inbox, um, emailed me, things like that. And, uh, you know, just, it's just so crazy how many other people are going through the exact same thing. It's like, you think you're alone, like, you know, you're not alone in it, but it's like people keep it hidden. They keep it low and tucked and it's a heavy burden and a heavy weight and you know we struggle in silence and uh but yeah i had a ton of people reach out and everybody who commented was like just completely and totally positive so that's amazing to me right so anyways um i got more story today that's like strange to touch on for me but i did acknowledge god in the last video and i've been searching for a long time in my life you know, I've been going down the rabbit holes. I've been thinking like the, the universe and this and that and just the, sim the simulation and all these things. Uh, looking at this reality from so many different ways. But, you know, I finally just, you know, I have to admit that for me, God is definitely real. Like 100%. I've come up from behind the pita. Anyways, I'm going to get into that in this video. We got some runny ranch here just in case for this is a Southwest chicken pita like pressed on the panini with like lettuce tomato onion pickle green pepper cheese pretty simple uh, and then chipotle sauce i got crispy fries here and this uh, i roasted off some garlic for 30 minutes at 400 salt and oil and then i mashed that out and i put a little white wine vinegar some cracked pepper and mayo and i just made like an aioli so we'll get into a bite of this so yeah, nice pita, very delicious looking, well made, and we go. Mm. The chipotle sauce is amazing. Okay, so I've talked in other videos that, um, you know, I was raised not in church or anything. I was allowed to figure out life for myself. No, like, indoctrinations. I don't know that I've ever been atheist, but I've definitely been, like, void of... Uh, being concerned with that there is a God, like uh, like in terms of um, being steadfast or concrete and anything, I've always just been searching. I fully believe that the dark course that I was on and me getting brought home was an intervention of like if you keep going this way you're gonna die and you're not gonna die like you're living wrong and shit in a sense so I'm gonna pull you out of that put you over here help you try to further learn this lesson but the one thing that I still couldn't give up was the alcohol so like I said I've never been 
a biblical guy into the Bible, into Jesus or anything, anything like that. This past summer, my drinking has been pretty rough over pandemic and that, but I've had some times where it's like, oh, I have some downtime, I get some nice time off from the bottle. Now I just fall back into the cycle for a long time. Knowing full well that like what I'm doing is not a good thing and I need to like clean it up so I keep trying. But anyways, this past summer, I've never had a religious or biblical style dream ever in my life. I had been drinking quite a bit. I got a few days, like four days, I think it was, just off. And uh, I was like, nice, I got four, four days off. Like I, you know, I'm holding strong. And this night I go to bed, like a regular time. And I have this insanely vivid dream. I've been wanting to talk about it for a long time, but I've been like scared too, because I've never professed my belief in any of this, right? But it's one of the most vivid dreams I've ever had. And I was, the first part I remember is I went to go look, there's like this dark room and this sort of smoky blue gray vanity vanity like there's drawers on the bottom where you'd keep socks and stuff and then this arched mirror and i go to look in the mirror and it's like my body and at first my face but then my face morphed into this terrifying other entity face all of a sudden that scene switched and I was walking down a winding path in this topsy-turvy uh, park and the park had a lake at my back like you could go down by the lake and then I was walking up and there was like on the left there's like a gazebo with lights low and then on the winding path there was these lamps that go like that and dim lights all along the path. And as I'm walking down this path, there was normal people passing me and then people that their bodies were people, but certain ones, certain individuals, and some of them were couples and one would be regular and one would be basically their face would be this black hole with two glowing yellow eyes. And they were just, every time they'd pass me, they'd like, they'd like try to pierce at me. In the dream, I don't know if I've even said the word rebuke ever in my life. In the dream, I yell out, I rebuke these demons in the name of Jesus. I swear to God. I swear to Jesus. Like, I really do. So, I keep having to dodge these demons on this path basically of mix between regular people and them and I can tell who they are by identifying that face or what they are so I wake up out of that oh I did a live like that next night like a live stream and I told the people on it and I started crying 
And I was like, I think I believe in, like, God. I think I believe in Jesus. I didn't keep the live up. Well, I never keep my lives up, especially on ones that I cry. But the next night, as I'm drifting off, like literally just drifting off. I've been down like four minutes, maybe. Just about out. I get jolted up. I sit up in my bed and there's this faint over like this table because I'm when I look at my when I'm in bed I'm looking at the opposing wall which is like I don't know eight feet away ten feet away I have this desk and on the right by the lamp there's this faint but there floating like burlap um, robe but this part of it was just black and I wasn't afraid of it I was intrigued by it it didn't scare me I was just like what so I'm sitting there and I'm like letting just like my eyes playing tricks and no it just keeps like kind of just floating there and it was probably about four feet in length this floating like robe Then, on the wall, it's here, on the wall here, starts this 30 to 45 second, probably 45 second, projection of swirling metallic blue, almost oil painting-esque, 2D, almost like a... When you look at like Mortal Kombat, like the verses, like the picture, you can only see the side of the face, the profile. On the wall, on this side, is the bearded man with the crown, and you know what I mean? Jesus, and then on this side was the sunken cheekbones, big, like long bony nose, bony forehead, basically just devil. And so I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm like, is this real? And as sure as I'm making this video right now, I watched it. I felt the chills. I kept like just making, me, me, is this real? Is this real? And then it just whew, vanished. And the cloak thing was gone. Safe to say that night, my sleep was a little like, I was just like, how am I supposed to sleep after that? So. Anyways. I cried to my dad this summer that I was like, I think I believe in God. He doesn't believe in God. He's like, he's like, I believe in science. And that we evolve from primordial goo over millennia. I cried to my sister this summer about God. And then after just what happened recently, basically confirmation for me. It's almost like the enemy knows that I'm, I was dead serious about stopping drinking, done with it. Like my last real terrible vice. Since then, I've been like, I was given on my first night of uh, like detox, some of the most scary images and just 
ghastly like visions and like when I'm half asleep all these like faces popping and shit that night and just disgusting images I feel like since that day just the warfare has been so strong because it's like the enemy is like you're not going to escape this last this 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 stranglehold but i don't i'm done with alcohol like i'm don't crave it at all right now i'm just i'm terrified of it so i guess that's to say this is day 16 sober i don't know if i said that already but It's been such a weird over two weeks for me. I'm not gonna lie, I really started praying. I've looked into a church to possibly start going to. And uh, I just can't wait to get through this rough patch to where like I'm just I'm free and clear of this shit. I just like back. <laughs> to good but that's the only way it's gonna happen so I have to thank God right now to help me through all of this and this is hard for me because none of my family members at least in my direct vicinity believe in, in any of this but I feel like I've just been shown recently like and uh That's this it's the way I'm gonna get through. With the truth, the way, and the life. So so that's a strange one for me to make, but I had to make it. Um y'all know what to do until the next one. Eat good, live well, stay true.